an introduction to one-way ANOVA and two-way ANOVA. So this is like the basic idea and you really need to understand this video before you move on to other videos, otherwise the equations just won't make any sense. All right, so first one-way ANOVA. The basic idea here is that you have at least three populations, so three or more populations, and you're trying to compare the mean of each of those populations to see if any of those differ. So our null hypothesis is all the means from all of the populations, all m populations, are equal. And then the alternative hypothesis is at least one of these means differs. All right, so what we're going to do to um, do this test, we're going to compare the variability within each group against the variability between different groups. So if we have m populations, we'll take a sample from each of those m populations, and then we're going to maybe make a plot to visually see the variability within each group and the variability between groups. All right, so imagine we take a sample. Here's our data set. Here's our box plots. Um, here we can see that, yes, there is a little bit of difference in these sample means, but there's a lot of variability within each group. So here we see a lot of variability in this group. That's why the box plot is so long. A lot of variability in this group. That's why the box plot is so long. And so even though there is variability between groups, it's not very much compared to the variability within each group. So here, if we saw box plots like this, it could just mean that the difference in sample means is simply due to random chance. All right, in the second data set here, we see very little variability within each group. So a very tight box plot here, another very tight box, another very tight box. And so we see very little variability within each group compared to the variability between groups. So if we saw a box plot like this, assuming the sample size is large enough, we'd probably be inclined to reject the null hypothesis and say that at least one of these means differs. All right, so again, the null hypothesis is all the means are equal. Alternative hypothesis is at least one of these means differs. You'll notice that if we end up rejecting the alternative hypothesis, we don't yet know which mean is different. All we know is that at least one of the means all right, so that's the um, big idea for one-way ANOVA. For two-way ANOVA, we're changing a little bit. So in one-way ANOVA, we just had one categorical variable. Now in two-way ANOVA, we're going to have two categorical variables. So we still have a quantitative response in both of these. Um, here in two-way ANOVA, we have two categorical variables. Okay, so it's easiest if we think about an example. So imagine that we're doing an experiment to look at the temperature of water used when you're washing your clothes and the type of detergent you're using when you're washing your clothes. Um, so imagine you're using two detergents, Tide versus Kirkland, and then your water temperature um, on your washing machine is like cold, warm, or hot. Okay, so you wanna see if you make the clothes equally dirty in each of these experiments, um, is one of these things going to um, release more dirt, get rid of more dirt from your clothing? So we're trying to measure as our response, the amount of dirt that's removed from the clothing in one wash cycle. All right, so there's our response, the amount of dirt removed from one wash cycle. Uh, predictors, like we said, the type of detergent used and then the water temperature. Okay, so we can use two-way ANOVA to figure out a whole bunch of things. So one of the things we can figure out is whether one of the detergents removes more dirt. So in other words, if we like look at the mean for Tide versus the mean for Kirkland, do these differ? All right, next question we can answer is whether one of the water temperatures more effectively removes dirt. So our null hypothesis is going to be the mean for cold water, the mean for warm water, and the mean for hot water. Those are all equal. And then the alternative is one of those means is not equal. Okay, and then finally, the thing that we can figure out is whether some combination of detergent and water temperature is more or less effective at removing dirt. So in other words, we're trying to see, is there some good combination that will remove more dirt? Or in other words, we could say, do some detergents work better or worse in certain water temperatures? So it might be, for example, that like Kirkland works the best in hot water, but for Tide, it doesn't really matter or something like that. All right, you'll notice that this question one and this question two here, those are things that we could answer by 
doing a one-way ANOVA for each one of those. Um, but the advantage of two-way ANOVA is this last question that we get to answer. We get to figure out whether some combination is working. So in other words, we're trying to see is the interaction term significant. 